The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of Shepherds in Lexis. Shepherds provides you with the tools you need to determine the usefulness and validity of legal documents for your research, as well as to find additional supportive documents. The service provides a comprehensive report of the cases, statutes, secondary sources, and annotations that cite your authority, including more recent cases that rely on your case. You can access a case's Shepherds report in three ways. First, you can enter your case citation in the Quick Tools box located on the right side of the Legal subtab. Once you enter your citation, click Shepherdize to retrieve the Shepherds report. You can also access a case's Shepherds report by clicking on the arrow on the Shepherds tab and selecting Shepherdize. From there, you can enter your citation and select which report you would like to see. Finally, click Check to retrieve your case's Shepherds report. The third way to access the Shepherds report can be done once you are inside your document. You can access the report by clicking on the Shepherds signal located next to the case citation at the top of the screen, or by clicking on Shepherdize. At the top of the screen, you can set your default display options by clicking on Display Options and Set Defaults. The Shepherd Signal Indicator displayed at the top of the page indicates how other legal authorities have treated your case. To see a definition of the indicator, you can hover over the signal or scroll down to the legend at the bottom of the page. For a definition of all of the Shepherd's signal indicators, click the legend link on the bottom navigation bar. The summary box at the top of the report will provide you with a quick synopsis of the overall report analysis and the number of documents included in the report. It will also tell you if there is any negative analysis in the subsequent appellate history of your case. Clicking on a source in the summary box, such as statutes, will jump you to the portion of the report that lists those sources. The report begins with your case's prior history and then moves on to any subsequent appellate history. One thing to note when looking at these two history sections is that the case you are shepherdizing will be highlighted in brown and have citation you entered located next to it. After the case history, you will find citing decisions, which is organized based on jurisdiction. To move to the next page of the report, you will need to click on the navigation arrows at the top of the page where your total cites are listed. Following case opinions, you will find statutes, secondary sources, and other court documents. Some reports may be too long for you to read all of the information. In those instances, you can limit the number of results using three features at the top of the page. All NEG will limit the report to only negative citing references. All POS will limit the report to only positive citing references. You can also use Focus Restrict By to limit the report by several different criteria. Using this feature, you can limit your results by analysis, key terms, jurisdiction, source type, headnotes, and date. The numbers in parentheses located beside each filter provide you with the number of documents tagged with that specific filter. To limit the results, select one or more of the filters, and then click Apply. To enter a document, click on the hyperlinked document title. You will enter the document at the place where it's referring to your case. One last feature to point out in the Shepherd's Report is the Table of Authorities. 
You can access the Table of Authorities by clicking on TOA beside the case citation. The Table of Authorities includes all of the cases cited in the case you are shepherdizing. That is it for your overview of Shepherds in Lexus.